Welcome back. The year 2014 has been an eventful year in terms of the economy, security, and a whole lot of other issues. And this morning, we'll be narrowing it down, reviewing what happened in 2014 in terms of security. Yes, indeed, we will take a look at security uh, today. It's a major, major issue uh, through the course of the year, starting from January all the way to December. We're approaching the last few days, or possibly, as some people uh, would rather put it, days a go. few hours to the end of the year. The counting down hours now, not days anymore. And there's still that uh, fear that security continues to be a major issue, even more so than economy or any other thing in Nigeria. So to join us in the conversation this morning, uh, we have in the studio uh, a security consultant and a clergyman, uh, Reverend Ladi Thompson. Good morning and welcome to Sunrise. The pleasure is mine. Great to have you here always. And then we've got uh, Dari Ogunlano, who is a public analyst and a security consultant as well. Good to have you here. Season. Compliment of the season to both of you. But I guess we're going to have to start from our guest who is in Abuja, someone we're truly really delighted to have to throw right perspective on what our government is doing on the issue of security and especially the insurgency which uh, Boko Haram constitutes to Nigeria. So um, we'll go first to Abuja by having Major General Chris Olukalade who is the Director of Defense Information. Good morning and welcome. It's a delight to have you. I'm struggling to hear you, but I guess that the audio will improve as we go ahead. Um, I will start by asking you, sir, if you were to take a look back from the beginning of the year 2014 till today, what will be your assessment of the level of progress we have made in terms of uh, battling that insurgency that has bedeviled Nigeria uh, for more than a year now? Well, the year started off on a note of a more uh, challenging approach to the whole of ocean. And uh, the challenges have been confronted. Uh, uh, we took up in the year with uh, some hope that uh, we made very good progress and uh, efforts were in that direction. However, very shortly, uh, within the period we entered the year, uh, the number of activities were heightened, uh, both on the part of the security agencies as well as on the part of the terrorists. Uh, the, the terrorists. Uh, began to do a number of bombings, both in urban areas as well as in the rural areas. Particularly, we had a number of attacks in isolated communities, in a snappy pattern to move from community to community, uh, wrecking havoc and uh, avoiding contact with the security agencies. That was the, the, the period that... I think the also challenge in the sense that the security agencies have to be uh, choosing after them from community to community. Now, it got to another point that um, maybe around April, the abduction story abduction. where they abducted from guns in Chibok, and there was also the issue of hostage taking in many parts, some places outside the tradition, uh, but they come in to uh, keep their uh, hostages and look for ransom. Then they maybe following the pattern, they noticed in other parts of the world, like the activities of ISIS, they began to also try to occupy territories. However, the position of the Nigerian security agency has been that we will not concede or allow that they have hold of any territory. Yes, it is true that the activities are prevalent in some communities, uh, but efforts are on to reverse this and uh, we are making some good progress in this respect. Uh, there, there's also the uh, constant efforts on their part to expand the scope of their operation, but this has been uh, actively uh, curtailed, and uh, efforts are on to ensure that they don't go beyond how far they have gone. So when you look at... 
So when you look at what has been done, you said yes, uh, their activities have been curtailed to some extent. And you look at the losses that Nigeria has made. How do you begin to explain those losses? And when you put it at par with the comments that about how prepared our soldiers are and the quality of the arsenal that we have to fight this battle. Uh, well, I, I take it that you're true with the question, and, uh, I, I it, uh, and that you're asking the level of preparation. I told you that at the beginning of the year, my expectation was that uh, quite quickly this needs to be uh, curtailed. But you also note that this phenomenon is not limited to Nigeria. There's every indication that they also borrow tactics and uh, approaches and strategies from their counterparts yeah, that is terrorists are taking in other parts of the world. And that has compounded the situation here. Uh, on the part of our efforts here, the constantly, yes, we acknowledge that we don't have all, we all that we need, but you must also know that, that uh, there has been no war, any operation, no war, anywhere, any in the world. anywhere in the world where people have all they need to manage the situation. The best is to maximize the use of what you have, and that's what we are doing. Uh, there's constant supply coming in to improve the level. We are doing everything to improve our firepower status. Logistics is moving across. Uh, there's heightened synergy among the security agencies. There's a high level coordination uh, of the airstrikes with the operations on ground. The intelligence is improving uh, regularly. Uh, we are not where we want to be, but definitely we are moving towards there. And this, this has been constant. Uh, yes, you mentioned the losses that are there. It's unfortunate that these are always the outcome of, of war, and uh, it doesn't stop us from making efforts to reverse it, and that's what is uh, ongoing. Okay. Uh, another question that comes to mind is the fact that when we make reference to what happens internationally and we look at Pakistan, Afghanistan and a number of other countries that have been bedeviled with what is now termed the global phenomenon of terrorism. Uh, we look at what happened recently in Peshawar where some kids were killed and we see the response of the government and of the people of Pakistan, including Pakistanis in diaspora coming back home to help rebuild the school and do a number of things. You're a Nigerian before you became a